welcome. Good morning everyone and come with Grant and I as we make our morning irrigation rounds. It's a little bit windy today but the sun is shining and it's supposed to be really hot. I think like almost 100 degrees. That's why we do our irrigation runs in the morning time so it's still kind of cool outside. So this pivot you guys should be really familiar with. This is the pivot that we took an old engine out of here and put a new one in, new to this location. Uh, we placed this diesel tank here and then we also re-nozzled this pivot. So if you remember, we put a new sprinkler package on it with Senninger irrigation. And so we've placed all the little sprinkler heads on top. And now I'm gonna run you through from start to finish how to start a pivot. open this little box. I'm going to put it on start. Okay. And then I'm just going to check a few things. I want to check that my well has drip oil. If you look inside, it does. Okay. And then I also want to make sure that it's dripping. Look in this little sight gauge here. Doesn't look like it. Next, I'm going to check the oil. Looks a little low. Need to add some. Yes, I know there's no guard on this power shaft. It is on the list to get done. We'll get done soon. Luckily, we travel with all our supplies in our handy Ranger over here. Only the essentials. Jump pack, drip oil, engine oil and uh, what is left of a funnel but as you saw green kind of melted it got a little hot i think we should still be able to use it though. not gotten a new battery terminal I like a battery terminal clamp to connect the cable to the battery um, this vice grip has been holding on for like a solid month now and I have a feeling it might be here for a lot longer so some nice fans have sent us lots of vice grips so I blame you guys for sending me excess vice grips so I can do things like that Thanks. Okay, now I open this little box right here. I'm going to turn the throttle down. Okay, about like here. And now everything should be good. I'm going to start. Chest high almost. Look at that. We're getting somewhere. It's starting to fill up. I just started wearing oil rags to work.
we have found a sprinkler nozzle missing. It's just dumping too much water out. This is what fell off, and we're gonna have to replace it. Let me show you why irrigation is so important. This corn is not under a pivot. This corn is under a pivot. And this is even bad looking corn because it's on the end rows. But I'm just saying like, look at how sparse and look at how full, it's crazy. These things are a pain, but they are so important. Well, this is a less than ideal start to the day. Check out this thing. What in the world is that? International 770. Like oh, it's a sprayer. How cool. It's like a first generation sprayer. This afternoon we are at a very special event. Um, it's special for a lot of people. I'm coming here strictly for educational purposes. Okay, I like old tractors, don't get me wrong, but through and through I'm a John Deere gal. I don't know about all this red business. We're at Red Power Roundup. It's right in Grant Nye's backyard in Grand Island, Nebraska. From what I've gathered, this event moves around from year to year. Um, and while I am, like I said, a John Deere gal, there is in truth a lot of really cool old farm equipment here and so i thought it'd be cool if we took you guys along with us to see some of that stuff i don't think these people like john deere tractors look <laughs> Look at this big thing. I'm getting, it kind of reminds me of like the big bud type tractors. Yeah. You know, but it's red. It's got that old square cab looking shape there. I like this sprayer here. Look at that. Those wheels look familiar. Those wheels it look familiar. It kind of looks like something I could see on a pivot. It's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. right? Is that what you're thinking? Oh uh, yeah, it looks like a pivot, pivot tire. tire. I've changed a few of these before. This is an old style cultivator. This is what Grant and I were doing just last week, but our setup looks much, much different than this here. I think that's one row at a time. Can you believe these things still run? I, I mean, think... not only because they're really old, but they're case. <laughs> this truck was used on a farm in 1928 and it still is in this good of condition. Imagine my Dodge pickup that I bought last year. Imagine that like a hundred plus years from now. Isn't that gonna be weird? That will be weird. I wonder if the AC will still work. Sure. I would hope so. Golf carts everywhere around here. We definitely missed the memo on that. Yeah. Look at them all. Oh, that's a track. Look at that guy go. <laughs> It is Grant's dream to own a cab over. Here's a little fun fact. I was going to buy him a cab over for his birthday a couple years ago, but the longer I looked at it, it was kind of junky because that was all I could really afford. So uh, maybe someday we'll get Grant his dream cab over, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling he's gonna have to wait a while for that. <laughs>
like that one. You like that one? Yeah. I do too. Whoa. Compare the planter that Grant and I used this spring to this thing. It's all chains and gears. I think men were tougher back then. I think so too. So what do you think about all this red equipment? I don't know, I feel a little bit out of my comfort zone, probably to say the least. Everyone here has a Case IH hat or shirt on or drive a red pickup or own a red golf cart or something. And it's kind of a lot for me, but I will say everyone that we've met has been really, really nice. So it's kind of hard for me to say anything bad. There's probably five or six buildings full like this. And that doesn't even count all of the stuff that's sitting outside or just under like awnings on buildings. There's so much stuff here. Look at how long the hood of this tractor is. Never seen one of these before? No. It's like an anteater tractor. It's like I used to call them when I was a little kid. Look at, look at this. What in the world? I mean, it swivels. Over here, there's a swap meet going on, so you can go buy, sell, and trade parts for all these tractors. Someone just found a tractor. It's not every day you get to see stuff like this, so it's really fun that Grant and I are able to come to these things and then take you guys along with us. Grant, do you have any parting thoughts from this show? Uh, I think I'll stick with my green stuff. I think I will too. <laughs> Thanks for coming along on another one of Grant and I's adventures. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!